This is Yair Davidi speaking to you from Jerusalem, the capital of Israel. Speaking to you on behalf of Brit and Hebrew Nations, an organization that finds the lost in tribes amongst Western peoples, and we prove it from uh, biblical sources, from uh, rabbinical evidence, from secular evidence, archaeology, linguistics, mythology, for, from every field that is somehow or other pertinent to the subject. And this is what we do, and this is what we have proven, and this is what we work for, and this is what we are about. This is what we are, Brit and Hebrew Nations. And those are our three R's, research, researching where the lost tribes are, recognition, revelation, that is, uh, bringing the, the evidence to the attention of the general public, and reconciliation, working towards the coming together of Judah, the Jewish people, and the ten tribes of Israel. And we find the lost tribes amongst Western peoples. We find the, the, um, the tribes of Joseph, Ephraim, and Manasseh, especially amongst the English-speaking nations. That is where Joseph gave expression to his um, tribal identity, to his tribal goals, and where he received the blessings that he would be been promised that he should receive. And Joseph was the father of the two tribes, Ephraim and Manasseh. Uh, Joseph was to be the major force amongst the lost ten tribes of Israel, the same way as Judah was to be the major force amongst the Jewish people. And these two halves of the Israelite nation, Judah and Joseph, are destined to reunite and come together as one whole. As prophesied in Ezekiel 37, Isaiah 11, and uh, numerous other passages from the biblical prophets. The present, this, speech is, this talk has been given to you on the 20th of March, Nisim 9, and... Um, this, on this day, President Barack Obama of the USA is in Jerusalem. He is here. He is visiting here. And this talk has also been given to you from Jerusalem, the capital of Israel. So both uh, we and President Obama are in the same city. But we have been here a bit longer than he has. And he is gone tomorrow, but we are staying. Nevertheless, there is something propitious about the fact that we, that this, uh, that we are giving this talk on this subject concerning the choice of the chosen, concerning the, the support that the USA should give or is given and uh, should in, continue to give to the State of Israel on the very day when uh, the President of the USA is uh, not that far away from us, at least in the physical sense. And whatever the outcome of this uh, visit of President Obama in Jerusalem will be remains to be seen. It's however connected with the state of Israel. It's connected with the support of the USA for the state of Israel. And we hope it will continue. It needs to continue. Support for the state of Israel needs to continue both for the sake of the state of Israel and for the sake of the USA. And the USA and Israel are brother nations. Just as the USA and Britain are brother nations. In a sense, even more so, but uh, at least on the same level, on, on, at the same level as President Kennedy said to Golda Meir, the, uh, one of the uh, prime ministers of Israel, the USA and Israel need each other, and this should be known, made known to them. But the state of Israel and the USA are nations of the Bible. The founding fathers of the USA, as well as very many inhabitants of the USA are descendant from Israelites. They are descendant either from Jews, Jews who were assimilated and lost um, uh, re uh, rem remembrance of their, of their Jewishness, or they are descendant from the lost in tribes of Israel who were once members of the 12, members, uh, 12 nations of the 12 tribes of Israel who once lived in, the, in this area stretching uh, uh, from the Nile to the Euphrates and far to the north. That was the whole area of the Promised Land, which was once uh, controlled by Israelite tribes, even though there were other tribes, other nations in the area. And they ruled all, over all this region after the conquest of Canaan under Joshua and the, and the judges and the prophets and then the kings, Saul, David and Solomon and the other kings. And... Um, Eventually, the northern tribes, the northern ten tribes, put aside. They set up their own independent kingdom of Israel in the north, and the Syrians came down and conquered them and took them away into exile. And these ten tribes lost uh, awareness, lost remembrance of who they were and where they came from. 
this, there was a demand purpose for this, as we were shown in our studies. They had to uh, uh, be exiled, they had to lose consciousness of who they were. They had to forget who they were, forget their Israelite identity, to go down to descend, become similar to the Gentiles amongst whom they intermixed or adjoined, interreacted, and uh, as they evolved upwards, they would bring the rest of the world with them, as indeed they have done historically, and uh, they are still doing. Eventually, the, uh, the uh, ten tribes and Jews, the Jews who did not forget who they were, had their own task in the world to, to play. The Jews and the, the ten tribes have come together and rejoin each other, and we are getting closer to the, to the when this will need to be done, when this will take place. And we can uh, help it along. We uh, have a, a role of our own. Each and every one of them has a, a, his own role, his own individual role in this uh, scenario to play. And we should look to find what we, each and every one of us has to do or can do in this direction. And uh, we, this, is, uh, this talk is just giving general overall uh, an out overview of the situation at the present time. And uh, this is all dependent on the Bible. This is what the Bible says. This is the Bible is our book. From the Bible we know God. God, Almighty as the Creator, is logical. It is a, a basic instinct of, of, a, of a human being. Another reason why people want to believe or need or realize that there is God is uh, it's a need for an ultimate moral authority. This too is the reason why we believe in God. But, God reveals himself through the Bible. We resonate, we realize by reading the Bible that this is the God of, of who created us, God of the world speaking to us. Through the Bible we know God. Through the Bible we each and every one of us establish a covenant, a personal covenant of their own with God. And uh, they connect up to the covenant that God Almighty has, has, has uh, made with the Israelite nation on the, as a whole. And this is, uh, this is uh, obvious, it doesn't have to be proved, it is uh, known, it will be acknowledged by anyone who has learnt the Bible, that such is a biblical message. The Bible says that God is a creator, but the Bible message is how God reveals himself to us through Israel. That is the Bible message, is that God is a creator, but even more so as if to say, he tells us that he is speaking to us through the nation of Israel, through speaking to the nation of Israel, and, uh, and his message to the, to the nation of Israel, God speaks to us. This is how we receive the, the message from God, through God, relating to Israel. The Jews are Israelites, and the ten tribes are also Israelites. The ten tribes have ever lost consciousness of their ancestry, and we in Hebrew nations, Brit and we work to remind the ten tribes of their ancestry and to prove it and to bring knowledge of this to the general public and to work towards the coming together of Judah, the Jewish people, and Joseph, the ten tribes of Israel. And the Jews of Judah did not lose their ancestry. And uh, whatever you may think of the Jewish religion, of how they uh, practice it, or whatsoever, they uh, are there. They have continued to do so. They have continued to acknowledge their membership of the Israelite nation and to keep the biblical message as they understand it should be. And there's no denying this. The Jews did not lose their ancestry. The Jews are the representatives of Israel before the world. Not only before the world, they're also the representatives of Israel to the ten tribes. They are the on living ongoing continuation of Israel, of the Israel of the Bible, and of the God of Israel interacting with Israel. The Jews are also the source through which the ten tribes will be reminded of their ancestry. Jeremiah 3 verse 18 says, And those days the house of Judah shall go unto the house of Israel, and they shall come together out of the land of the north, unto the land that I have given for an inheritance unto their fathers. In other words, the Jews in the end times will help the lost ten tribes return to their source. It will help bring them back to the land when the time comes. In the meantime, the Jews are preparing the way through supporting the Jewish presence and rule over the land of Israel, we reaffirm our trust in the God of Israel. This is the will of God. God wants us to support the state of Israel. And Israel has begun in gathering of Judah. The land of Israel is a special land. 
It's the land where divine providence is felt more strongly. The eyes of God are upon this land. Deuteronomy 11 verse 12, the land which the Lord your God cares for. The eyes of the Lord your God are always on it from the beginning of the year to the very end of the year. This land of Israel has special qualities of its own. All these lights should be here, but at the moment they cannot be. In the future they will be. For the moment, those who are here are Jewish and they are preparing the way. We have to support what there is. We have to support what there is, do what we can. State of Israel is the beginning, help it. Help it along. Believe in it, trust in it, and, and, and do what is possible to enable it to continue to function. And also help help Britain and help people nations if you uh, sympathise, if you think there's something in what we're saying, help us too to function and to continue. At all events, the state of Israel is the first step for all the Israelites. Many Jews in the lands of, uh, of Israel learn the Torah. They speak the Hebrew language. They have revived the Hebrew language, the language of the Bible. And very many of them keep the commandments. Most of them keep most of the commandments, most of the basic commandments. And uh, some of them keep uh, a good, very large portion of them, and they endeavor to do so. They live for this. They have revived it. They are intensifying it. And this can be seen. This is un indisputable. This is the living Bible. It, it is what there is. It may not be perfect, but it, it's close. It's closer. It's as close as we can get, as close as we have been able to get so far. And it is worth... Uh, continuing and are helping to continue. It may not be what it should be, but it's what we have. We need it. Believe it's in the Bible. In our days, need the state of Israel. It doesn't matter what was in the past, what the past situations were, what, what however our fathers or grandfathers, whether they were better off or not better off. This is what we have now. This is what we are with. People who believe in the Bible should help the Jews in the state of Israel because this is what the Bible requires of us. This is what God seems to want from us according to the biblical truth of the bit of scripture. All the Israelites need the state of Israel. Leviticus 20 verse 24 says, But I have said to you, you shall inherit their land, I will give to you to possess a land flowing with milk and honey. I am the Lord your God who has separated you from the peoples. The Jewish people are separated from other peoples for this reason. To keep the commandments and to live in the land of Israel. Support for the state of Israel it's the key to the redemption of all Israelites. It's for the good of humanity in general. Today, the USA is the major supporter of the state of Israel. Most other nations of the world are either against Israel or highly critical of it on the surface. And um, despite the apparent hostility of many nations whom we believe are also are from Western tribes of Israel, that amongst them are important elements, uh, crucial elements, dominant bodies of people, cohesive, coherent units of ethnic significance, descended from the tribes of Israel, such as Ireland, Norway, France and related countries, and amongst these countries we find governments and uh, also uh, NGOs, uh, public bodies, organisations, and all kinds of groups and all kinds of individuals who are against the state of Israel sometimes support actively. It's not that simple. Things are not always entirely what they seem. Even amongst these nations, there are very, very many who, at least uh, at a subconscious level, uh, support and have sympathy for the state of Israel and want it to, uh, to succeed. And even against what they think, they think they want the USA to support the Jews in the state of Israel. Helping the Jewish presence in the state of Israel is not only what God wants, it is what the whole of the unconscious soul of the Israelite nation of the ten tribes of Israel also want to be done. The USA is doing this. The USA is fulfilling a mission as representing all of the Israelite tribes in helping the Jewish people. Uh, historically, the ten tribes were exiled by the Assyrians. They disappeared. They lost consciousness of their identity. Uh, a few hundred years later, the Jews who remained, the Jews are the people who dwelled in the tribes of Judah, they are those Israelites who remained, who were not uh, exiled by the Assyrians, they are a minority of the Israelite tribes, but they remained. The Babylonians came down and conquered them and exiled them also to Babylon. But later on, uh, a portion of them returned under Israel and Nehemiah. They set up the uh, nation of Judah and then they grew and developed. Uh, eventually the Romans conquered it and after a period of time exiled all of the Jewish inhabitants to, and uh, caused them to be scattered all over the earth. 
And in the meantime, the Romans, after the Romans come, the Byzantines, uh, and then the Persians, then the Arabs, and the Crusaders, and then the Arabs again, and then the Turks. Uh, meanwhile, the Jews of Judah had been scattered, uh, remained, were remained as they were scattered in the diaspora, but individuals or even small groups of Jews would come back or try and come back and they'd be driven out or circumstances would force them to leave. You always can make a, a correspondence between the economic capacity of the country and the political climate and the Jews were always trying to get come back here. In the 1700s, 1800s, 1900s more and more Jews, uh, we, we did come to this area, they did come to Jerusalem and uh, remaining uh, and surrounding areas and uh, areas in, in, in what was then called Palestine began to settle there, it was then ruled over by the Turks, by the Ottoman Turkish Empire the Ottoman Turks were uh, on the whole against it so were the Arab uh, neighbours on the whole, not always, but on the whole uh, intermittently at least they were hostile to it, but the British who were a dominant element in this area at that time uh, helped the Jews, supported the Jews, gave them backing, and so did other, so did the Americans, and on upon occasions, and other nations, and uh, the population, of the Jewish population increased to some degree, then there came the First World War, and the British in 1917 conquered the area, liberated Jerusalem, the British were also helped by New Zealand and Australian troops, and by other troops of the British Empire, and they, uh, following their conquest, there came the Balfour Declaration when they recognised the need for the Jews to establish their own nation in this area and the British mandate and uh, this continued the British helped the Jews helped the Jews set up the basis of infrastructure for their for a country and on the whole they, they supported the Jews and were very uh, positive towards the Jews on an overall uh, on the, the, when you viewed from an overall perspective there was also a certain degree of ambivalence amongst the British. There were those who were anti-Semitic, those who were pro-Muslim, those who were pro-Arab. Uh, they interfered and uh, the British policies wavered. Uh, they went back and forth. But nevertheless, the British did help the Jews build up the country. And on the whole, uh, despite claims to the country, most of the British, most of the time, mostly supported the Jews. The State of Israel came into being in 1948 after fighting wars against the Arabs uh, at the beginning the State of Israel was supported by France and then after 1967 the, the Israel was supported by the USA the USA became the main and only backer of the State of Israel and it still is and we hope we shall continue to be so because of their support for Israel the USA in the eyes of the world is much greater than it otherwise would be the USA receives much of its greatness through divine providence because God wants it that way as a reward for it helping the state of Israel and not only that but on an objective level in the eyes of the Gentiles in the eyes of the non-Israelite nations the USA is a great nation because of its support of the state of Israel the state of Israel has a disproportionate uh, importance in the eyes of the world it's only a small country a relatively small population, uh, six, uh, a bit more than six million Jews live here, uh, but it occupies the news that opposite, uh, occupies the centre of world's uh, 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 attention, world attention. The in international community seems to be obsessed very often with the state of Israel and what's going on in it. And there's a reason for this because subconsciously uh, everyone realises uh, that this is where the future destiny of the world is to be played out. This is the most important area in the world. This is where the future of man mankind is to be determined and the USA by helping the state of Israel is doing the work of the Almighty, is to, fulfilling the will of the Almighty and it will be blessed because of it and therefore needs to continue to do so and to even increase its support for the state of Israel, to intensify it or, uh, and uh, so do the other Israelite nations need to go in this direction and so do all of us, we all have to do what we can to help do what has to be done for the sake of the Bible, for the sake of biblical consciousness, for the sake of our Israelite ancestry. So to our organization, Hebrew Nation Spirit Am, that works to, pres to uh, spread this message, to bring proof of Israelite ancestry to descendants of Israelites and to the Jewish people, 
and we work uh, reasonably hard at this, and we uh, have uh, had success, a reason, some degree of success in proving it and bringing proofs to the public attention. Some of these proofs were already known and some of them were not. And thank God for that. But we are constantly struggling to get by and to promote it and to do what we can. And we need your involvement, we need your help, and we believe that those who help us will be re rewarded from an high from doing, for doing so. At all events, the state of Israel should be supported, the state of Israel needs to be supported, the USA needs to support the state of Israel because this is good for Israel and it's also good for the USA and it's good for the world, it's good for mankind in general. And may God bless all of you, may God bless the state of Israel, may he bless the USA, may he bless all of mankind. Thank you.